Well, March Madness has returned to Boston starting tomorrow. The TD Garden will once again be hosting games for the NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament. The Garden will see Sweet 16 and Elite 8 matchups. Now, four teams have made the trip to Boston, and that includes the defending national champions just down the road, UConn. The Huskies, the favorites to win it all again this year. And you can imagine they're going to be bringing a lot of fans to this area. The game will also, of course, be giving Boston a major economic boost. NBC10's John Maroon joining us live from the Garden with a look at the matchups, John, as well as what fans in the city can expect. Monica, these are some of the best basketball teams in the country, and this weekend they'll have the TD Garden all to themselves. March Madness has arrived in Boston. College sports taking center stage in a place where professional sports are king. We're just happy to be here and see the matchup. Members of the Fighting Illini Hoops Band are in town for the Sweet 16. Their squad, Illinois, takes on Iowa State in the second game Thursday. The first pits UConn against San Diego State, a rematch of the national championship. I think you're going to see a lot of UConn people here. I, I think uh, this proximity, UConn being the number one seed, I think it could be hopping. I'm super excited to play in Boston. Alex Caravan is from Southboro and plays for UConn. The Huskies may have home court advantage beyond their top seed, but their coach says they deserve it, given their efforts since winning last year's championship. This wasn't some light gift uh, by the committee uh, to try to make it as easy as possible for us. Make it hopping! The three-day tournament is expected to generate as much as $17 million with spending on things like hotels and restaurants. Plus, Boston will be featured on TVs around the country during the games. Martha Sheridan is president of Meet Boston. So that's always great to get our name recognition out there and reaffirm our um, reputation as a great sports destination. At halftime pizza across the street from the Garden, the games will bring in more people and more revenue. But the success of the Celtics and the Bruins has made this a pretty good year. You know, you get a good win for a Bruins game and the crowd's fired up. They come out happy, hungry. Now UConn is less than a two-hour drive from North Station, making them a favorite beyond that top seed. We'll have in Boston, John Maroney, NBC10 Boss.